Hey everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. In today's video, I want to test these three 1660 supers to see if we can understand how the differences between them impact their ability to mine Ergo. So let's take a look at the three cards. The first is actually an Asus 1660 super with Hynix memory that we've BIOS modded to improve its Ethereum performance. The second is also an Asus with Samsung memory and the third card is a Zotac with Micron memory. So what we've done to establish a baseline is I've set the memory clock and the core clock identical for all three cards. So for the core, we've locked them at 1050. And for the memory, we've set them at plus 2400. The only difference between the three cards you can see is I've applied a 70 watt power limit to the BIOS modded uh, graphics card. And the reason I've done that is without the power limit, this card will report to be drawing 125 watts. So I wanted to get them as close as possible for a baseline, and the lowest I can go on the power limit with this BIOS modded card is to 70 watts. So it gives us as close as we can get uh, to start with a baseline, but as we go through, uh, I don't think this will matter a whole lot as we optimize each card. Okay, so let's take a look at the hash rates. Uh, first, with the BIOS modded ASUS, we're getting 69.07 mega hash at 70 watts in software. The ASUS with Samsung memory, we're getting 63.57 mega hash at 62 watts in the software. And the Zotac with Micron memory, we're getting 64.17 mega hash at 64 watts. So what we'll be doing for this test is we're going to start by optimizing the memory overclock for each card and then revisiting the hash rates. Then we'll optimize the core uh, clock for each of the uh, cards, revisit the hash rates, and then we'll determine if we need to make any adjustments to the power limits. But really what we're gonna try and do is optimize each one of these cards and see how different they really are once we've uh, tuned the overclocks for each one to mine ergo. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna go ahead and update the memory clocks and we will check back in a moment. Okay, so we've got the memory clocks optimized and what we were able to get for both of the ASUS 1660 supers, we were able to get the memory clock up to plus 3000. And as a result, we were able to see an increase of about 1.5 mega hash roughly on each of those cards. Now on the Zotac, we were not able to move off of the 2400 memory clock. If we went any higher, the card would crash. If we went any lower, we would see a reduction in the hash rate, but no change in the power. So becoming less efficient and also, like I said, getting less hash rate. So those are the clocks we will stick with on the memory. So let's go ahead and work on the core clocks and we will be back in a minute. Okay, so we uh, finished our adjustments on the core clock and really started seeing some interesting things starting to come out. So the first thing is with the BIOS modded ASUS 1660 Super, we were able to get the core clock locked up to 1530 while still seeing improvements in the hash rate, getting all the way up to 71.84 mega hash, again at that same 70 watts um, uh, power limit. But with the ASUS with Samsung memory, we were only able to get the core locked up to 1335 and still see improvements in the hash rate. So once we got above this 1335, we weren't seeing any improvements in the hash rate, but we did continue, continue seeing increases in the power draw. So now what's happening is we're starting to see a divergence in the efficiencies of the ASUS cards. So as we continue to overclock and tune the BIOS modded card, our efficiencies are improving as well as our hash rate, of course, but we're seeing as we improve the hash rate on the non BIOS modded ASUS 1660 Super, our efficiencies are coming down. So we're getting slight improvements at the hash rate uh, at the penalty of higher uh, consumption of power. So lastly, we talk about the Zotac with the Micron memory. And again, we were not able to adjust the core clock away from our baseline of 1050 if we moved above or below that core of 1050, we would see the hash rate decrease regardless of where we went. So 
Again, it seems as though our baseline on this Zotac was the sweet spot for this card. Again, holding steady at 64.17 mega hash at 64 watts. So we had talked about the possibility of needing to adjust the power limits and based, what I'm see based on what I'm seeing in this test so far, I don't think it's going to be necessary to make any adjustments to the power limits. So I think we're pretty much dialed in. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've been building a spreadsheet as we've been going. So let's take a look at that spreadsheet and kind of see what we were talking about. So you can see with our baseline here, our efficiency on the BIOS modded card was 0.987 and the efficiency on the ASUS with the Samsung memory was 1.025. But as we went through, we did the memory clock testing. We saw an improvement in the efficiency on the BIOS modded card and a small decrease in the efficiency on the ASUS with Samsung memory. And of course, no change on the Zotac. Then when we got to the core clock testing, we saw another increase in efficiency on the BIOS modded 1660 Super and a further decrease in efficiency on the ASUS with Samsung memory because we did see a rather large jump in our power draw as we increased the core clock from 1050 up to 1335. So finally, uh, with the power limit testing, we've made no changes. So we're not gonna make any updates to this section, but my takeaway from this video or from this test is that the BIOS modded 1660 Super with the Hynix memory is definitely going to perform better than a non BIOS modded 1660 Super. So when we did the same test on Flux, we saw um, no change or even a small detriment to having the BIOS modded 1660 Super. For Ergo, absolutely, we are seeing a benefit to having the BIOS modded 1660 Super. So, uh, if, you, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something today, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Please hit that notification bell to be notified of future content. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.